So 26 years ago, when Chetna Renat moved to the metro, she couldn't find Indian clothing anywhere. So she began designing and styling pieces, eventually opening up La Hair Collection in her basement. So let's find out how to style a sari. Chetna, can you kind of just walk us through the whole styling process? Absolutely. Sari, of course, is a very um, ancient um, outfit that women use or attire that women used to wear in India. And that's what um, you're wearing right now. Yes, absolutely. And um, the silk sari is, tra uh, is a traditional sari. Th this is a pure Banarasi silk. And what I'm wearing is uh, Indo Western uh, in the sense I'm wearing a traditional sari, yet I'm pairing it with a gold sequence blouse, um, which is Western, kind of gives it a little Indo Western. Okay, well, your outfit is so ornate, but I would not even begin to know where to start draping one. So is Katie's outfit considered traditional? Um, it is traditional, so basically we always pair a sari, uh, and a sari is a six to nine yards of fabric, depending on what drape wow. we're going to be using. Um, and it always has a blouse um, and a petticoat, it's a skirt, which is used to drape a sari over it. Um, and saris always drape navel down, and then um, brought it up on the shoulder. So I could definitely show you how it... Let's see how it's done. Oh, absolutely. Okay, and you're a stylist and you also own La Hair Collection. Correct. What made you start this? I was born and raised in India. And when I moved here from India about 25 years ago, um, there wasn't any places that would sell Indian outfits and I had absolutely loved to wear love for Indian fashion, Indian outfits, sorry. Well, you have such a beautiful boutique and of course you can give all this hands-on information like how to drape a sari. It, it kind of seems like you tucked it into the waistband Correct. of the petticoat. That's right. So we just do a one full wrap of the sari around the petticoat just so that it holds the drape together. Mm -hmm. And is it actually, is it difficult to master this? Um, it's not. There are a lot of videos out there and uh, um, it's not that bad. This style of wearing the sari is called the Navi style. Um, there are about 108 different types of drapes that are done based on states of India, um, what part and what culture um, it is. The, the last piece here goes mm -hmm. over the shoulder and then we still have some fabric left here. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be pleating this and we're going to be tucking it up here, which is what gives you extra room to walk and okay. it creates pleats in the front. But this is one of the drape that's most popular. Um, most of the women um, always uh, try to use this drape. So she could walk into any formal event dressed just like this. Absolutely. And looking gorgeous. So saris are what women traditionally wear every day, but ones worn daily would be made out of materials like cotton. Coming up, we're going to take a look at how to style Indian jewelry with a more formal sari that can be worn to a wedding event. Welcome back to Better Kansas City. Indian weddings typically last four days and men and women traditionally wear red or ivory. Now there are other events leading up to the actual ceremony where the bride dresses elaborately. Let's see how to style one of those looks. What actually is the difference between a full and a half sari? Um, so this is a half sari right here, and it's also called lehenga. The difference between them is sari is something which is like a six to nine yards fabric, um, which needs to be draped over a skirt, whereas this one has a skirt, a blouse, and a half scarf um, that are pretty much embellished. Um, skirts are have more flair um, rather than the skirts that are used for the saris. Okay, and you said that a lot of that is so that the woman could move around a lot more. Absolutely, move around, dance around. And we know that jewelry is such a big part of the culture. Yes. So you're a stylist. Let's mm -hmm. see what jewelry pairs well with this. Sure. Um, with this lehenga here, um, I would pair something, um, since it's a, one of the bridal event, uh, I could pair something like this and it would look pretty amazing with it. And we know just how elaborate all this jewelry and of course all the embellishment is, but is it ever too much? It's never too much. Okay. Uh, <laughs> people love wearing jewelry and it, it always complements what you're wearing, so it all depends on what style of dress you're wearing, uh, and based on that, we'll decide on what jewelry to wear. And this would actually go on top of the head. Yes, so earrings. we have. So yes, we have uh, these uh, necklace, the earrings, and this is a tika. It's called mang tika, um, which goes right over the head. This is a bridal event gown, but let's say you're a guest and. Maybe you don't know the full drape process. You have made it even easier. We've made it easier and created a ready-to-wear sari. Um, so anyone can wear a sari now uh, and get the same look. So um, Show me how it works. Absolutely. Yeah. 
So it's a pretty easy process here. Um, we have these pleats um, that are pre-stitched. So you're telling us we won't have to do any of the folding. It's already sewn. No, it's already sewn together. And it has these pins on here, um, or buckles. And all you have to do is just pin it together, um, bring the pleats to the front, where they're right on the middle, and bring the drape around on your shoulder. And you could just pin it here. And you have a full sari in less than a few seconds. How beautiful is that? And you've made one of my bucket list items come true because, hey, I'm wearing a sari. You look beautiful. So the stitch sari is really good for people who want to stay true to the culture of the wedding and no one can tell it's stitched once it's on. In the next half an hour, we're going to get a look at their men's fashion. Bill? Right, so far, we've been focusing on women's Indian mm -hmm. fashion, but the hair collection is not leaving the fellas out. That's right. Men's styles include a loose shirt called a kurta or a coat-like garment that's more structured called a shirvani. And they're pretty stylish, so let's take a look. All right. So from what we're seeing, there are two pieces to each set. Yes. Each menswear will have two pieces. Um, this particular piece here is called kurta pajama uh, or also salvar kurta. Uh, kurta is the top piece right here, and it comes with the pants. Um, these are drawstring pants. Drawstring that you can wear around, I mean, that has to be so comfortable and nice. Yes, it is. It is very comfortable. Uh, and these are the pants uh, um, that will have, they will look a little longer, mm -hmm. um, but they always crease up on the bottom um, towards um, the feet. So these are the pants that go with those. Okay, and you have so many different looks here. You know, what is the difference in how formal they are maybe? Um, yes, yeah, so the dif difference between, to, to kind of explain to you, the difference would be more like wearing a dress shirt versus a suit jacket. Um, this is a piece called Sherwani. Um, and on these kind of pieces, um, these are also two pieces. And they would, they could be worn at weddings, um, grooms wear them, groomsmen, grooms family members, or any other family events you could wear them and also could be complemented with jewelry. Okay, so the guys are wearing jewelry as well. That's so fun. We have to take a look at these shoes because they're exquisite. Yes, all the Sherwanis that we make, we also make custom shoes with them. Um, so okay. yes, uh, we, we could complement the shoes for them too. Oh my gosh, these are so fun. And they actually do kind of turn up a little they bit. They do. And when you go to an event, would you say your husband typically wants to match the woman? Or how, how do you guys decide that? Yes, most of the time it's the women who want the husbands to match them, to complement their colors um, for, the, for the pictures and just for everything. Uh, it's always good to uh, complement. It looks really nice that way. Okay, so which outfit would you want to select out of these to go with the outfit you're wearing? Um, I would love for him to wear something like this. That would also complement. Um, also, uh, the yellow could be complemented with it as well. Okay. Well, she said in some parts of India and in some face, men would actually wear turbans for formal events as well. And Bill, I have to say, how about wearing drawstring pants to a formal event? I mean, that looks so comfortable. I'm down for that. If yeah. I can just put on the sweats and then drop <laughs> the, the, the first, that gold one looks sharp on there, I'd wear that. Yeah, it was lovely. All right.